Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Shanika and today's yin yoga class is a class for your peace, a class for peace of mind, a class to find that inner calm. Sometimes we are looking to just retreat from the hustle and bustle of our days or just to find some alone time and this class is going to bring in all of those elements so that you are feeling peaceful, calm, rested, and at ease. So before we get into today's practice, if you are new here, welcome, and if you are returning, thank you for returning to do another yoga practice with me today. Always remembering to hit that like and subscribe button so that you are notified when I upload a video. And remembering to leave a comment. I really do enjoy reading those comments so that I know how you enjoyed this class um, and if anything came up for you. So for this practice, I'm going to be targeting a lot of the lower body, opening up through the hips and the chest, really just allowing us the moment to breathe and relax so that at the end of this practice, you find that peace of mind that you might be looking for. So for this practice, you will need two blocks and we will go ahead and get started in a butterfly position. So coming to sit on your bum, you are going to bring the soles of your feet to touch. So before we begin, if when you're doing this pose, you find that you're kind of sitting back uh, into your pelvic girdle, I highly suggest you take a towel, a t-shirt, or a thick sweater and sit on the edge of it so that it helps prop your hips forward. So go ahead, bring the soles of your feet to touch. And for this one, you're gonna draw your feet close in towards your groin and allow your knees to open wide. With your two blocks, if you have them handy, you can place them underneath your knees for support. Go ahead, take your hands and wrap them on the outside of your ankles and inhale to lift the chest up. On an exhale, you're going to fold forward any amount and just allow the head to drop. Noticing the quality of your breath. Really long and silky breath. Really short and shallow. Really allowing the head to be heavy.
expanding through the back of the rib cage. Seeing if maybe you can walk yourself just a little bit closer towards your feet to the top of the mat. Last few breaths here. Take our last two breaths, nice big inhale. Open the mouth and sigh it out. Again, inhale. And gently exhale. Gently opening the eyes, gently lifting the gaze, walking your hands back up. Very gently close the knees. And you can just allow the head to drop in here for a moment. From here, we'll make our way into Caterpillar and you have the option to use the block or not. I will demonstrate both. So extending your legs straight down onto your mat, you want to have a slight gap in between your feet, like a V shape or about two or three fists width between your feet. So this just helps to take the stretch a little bit more into the belly of the hamstring as opposed to having the feet close together. So this is where you would take your block, you would place it in between your legs, inhale here, find a nice long spine, and on the exhale, just allow the belly to drape over the thighs, forearms can drag forward, and then you would simply rest your forehead on the block. And you may need to readjust as needed. Just trying to find stillness in the pose. Always coming back to the quality of your breath. Legs are soft. So relaxing the kneecap, the 
toes. Nice, expansive breath. If you'd like to go deeper for these last few breaths, maybe inchworm yourself closer down to your thighs, maybe you remove the block. Take our last two breaths here. Nice big inhale. Really feel the back body swell up with air. Open the mouth and sigh it out. One more inhale. Open the mouth and side out. Go ahead and lift the gaze. Walk your hands back up. Lean back, bend the knees. You can bring your hands behind you. Just allow the head to drop back. You can sink back into your shoulder girdle. You rest your ear on your shoulder. Let's go ahead and make our way into our next posture, which will be a melting heart. So finding yourself in that, in a tabletop position, making sure your knees are in line with your hips. You can keep your feet directly behind your knees or you can bring your big toes to touch, whichever one um, feels most comfortable for you. It's just that when we come down, you wanna make sure that your hips do not come forward, your hips stay exactly where they are. So having said that, you just walk your hands forward to the corners of your mat, so more of a, in a V shape. 
So walk them out as far as you can. Inhale and exhale. Bring your chest and chin to the floor. Last few breaths. Last two breaths. Nice big inhale. And side out. One more inhale. And exhale. And from here, push into your palm, lift the chest, go ahead and just walk your hands back in. Just taking a child's pose, you can stack fist on fist and just let the forehead rest for a moment. Maybe you want to bring your arms by your sides. Let's go ahead and lift our gaze 
and we will make our way into frog. So this may ignite some excitement or not. So let's go ahead, find your tabletop position, and I will show you um, a way that you can use your block in this posture. So just have it handy if um, frog is a pose that you don't find quite accessible for you. You might enjoy this variation. So bring your knees as wide as you can, as wide as is comfortable for you. So in frog, you want to make sure that you're not drawing your hips forward. You're actively looking to push your hips back. So go ahead and glance down and make sure that your feet and your knees are pointing in the same direction. So your toes and your feet should be flexed. So again, you're looking to push back. Uh, it's almost as if you're pushing through an imaginary wall. It's basically an imaginary wall of tension. So once you find that area of tension, hold it and come down onto your forearms. So you're pushing into your forearms and that's gonna help activate to push you. So as you push through your forearms, you can push your bum towards the back of the mat or behind you. So if this pose you don't find quite accessible, you can always place the block underneath your belly and rest your belly on the block. That always helps. So we have a tendency in this pose to grip the inner thighs. So just notice if that's you, try to relax. Allow the belly to be soft. If you have sensitive knees, you can also place blankets underneath your knees. But always remembering to push gently into that wall of tension. And wherever you're feeling those areas of tension, bring your awareness there. And once your awareness is there, use your breath to massage out that tension. So where the awareness goes, the breath goes. Again, remembering to ease into that wall of tension.
So if you'd like to go deeper for these last few breaths, you would simply bring your chest to the floor without moving your hips. So your hips stay exactly where they are. You just melt your chest to the floor. Last few breaths here. Last two breaths, nice big inhale, and side out. One more inhale, and gently exhale. So if you came down onto your chest, push back up onto your forearms. From your forearms, you're simply just going to ease your way forward onto your belly, moving very slowly. Leaving your legs where they are. And just stack palm on palm and let the forehead rest here. Just, again, being the observer, enjoying all these openings and sensations. So when you're ready, just simply inchworm your legs closed and then just shimmy your hips from side to side. Maybe you bend your knees and windshield wiper the legs from side to side. Let's go ahead from here, push into our palms, push ourselves back up, bring the knees in so that the knees are touching, the thighs are touching, drape the belly over the thighs, and just let the forehead rest. And go ahead from here and sit all the way up. So from here, we'll be making our way into a reclined hip flexor opening posture. We've been doing a lot of um, inner groin opening, so we'll just kind of balance things out and open up the front of the hip flexor. So come on down onto your back. You're going to extend the left leg straight and bend the right knee in towards the chest.
So if you have your strap handy, you can strap it around your knee, otherwise interlacing your hands around your right kneecap. Inhaling here. And exhaling to draw the knee in closer towards the chest. Being mindful that you're drawing the knee in towards the chest and not the armpit. We'll last a few breaths here before we transition. Go ahead and take our last two breaths here. Nice big inhale. And side out. One more inhale. And gently exhale. So from here, we'll be making our way into a twist. Going to take your left hand to the outside of your right knee and bring your right arm out beside you. Inhale here. Exhale. You want to push your right knee away from you slightly and then come over onto your left side, drawing your right knee down. You might need to readjust your left leg, left hip, and then gaze over your right shoulder or otherwise gazing towards the ceiling.
really looking to draw your right hip down towards your left toes. So there should be a nice space between your lower right rib cage and your right hip. So trying to widen that gap. Last few breaths here. You can use your deepest breaths. Our last two breaths. Nice big inhale. Open the mouth and sigh it out. One more inhale. Open the mouth and let it go. Bringing your gaze back to center if it wasn't already. Gently drawing the right knee all the way back up. Setting the right foot down. Bend the left knee to meet the right. Just readjust your hips. And hang out here for a moment before we do the other side. Maybe you shimmy the hips or make some circles. Anything to bring back some balance. And let's set up for the other side. So extend now the right leg straight down onto the mat and bend the left knee in towards the chest. So using the strap, if you have it handy, inhale here and exhale, draw in. So inhale, the knee moves away and exhale to draw in.
last few breaths here. We're going to take our last two breaths before we transition. Nice big inhale. And sigh it out. One more inhale. And gently exhale. Getting ready to transition into our twist. Go ahead and take the right hand to the outside of the left knee and extend your left arm out beside you. Draw your left knee over towards the right, readjusting your right hip as needed, dropping your left knee down towards the right. So again, looking to widen the gap between your lower left rib cage and your left hip. So it's like you're drawing your hip down towards your right toes. You can stay here looking towards the ceiling or gazing over your left arm. Nice deep breaths. Last few breaths here, making these your deepest breath. Last two breaths, nice big inhale, and side out, one more inhale, and gently exhale. Bring your gaze back to center. And very gently drawing your left knee back up and over. Bend both knees here. 
Readjust your hips. Bring your feet as wide as your mat. And just allow the knees to knock in. Let's go ahead very gently and just windshield wiper the knees from side to side. Maybe you draw your knees in towards your chest and just rock from side to side. Massage the low back a bit. And from here, we'll make our way into Shavasana. So extending your legs down the length of your mat and arms out wide. A nice adjustment here in Shavasana is if you push into the back of your skull and pick up your chest, draw your shoulders away from your ears and down your back and set your back down back onto the mat. Nice way to find some length through the neck and the shoulders. Always taking this time to show yourself some gratitude, showing up to practice. Taking this time out for yourself. So feeling free to stay here for as long as you'd like. I do hope this practice brought you a little bit more peace of mind, relaxation and ease. And I look forward to seeing you back here for another yin yoga practice. Have a wonderful day.